from Cooking with Plants and after the recent success of my cake in a mug I decided to come up with a savoury recipe because I do love my savoury foods so today's recipe is a pizza in a mug. Let's get started. So for today's recipe I've got quite a large mug a little bit larger than my hand and it's quite wide so it's perfect for this recipe and also a nice round shape for a pizza. So first of all, I'm adding two tablespoons of whole wheat flour, one eighth of a teaspoon of baking powder and a pinch of Celtic sea salt. Just give those dry ingredients a quick mix through. And then to this, I'm adding two tablespoons worth of filtered water. And then give this a good stir through until it resembles a thick batter. So once that batter is stirred up, just leave that sitting for a minute and in the meantime, you're going to make your cheesy mix that will go on top. So what I've got is two teaspoons of filtered water and also I'm adding in two teaspoons of nutritional yeast flakes, one teaspoon of white miso paste and two teaspoons of tahini. So the tahini I'm using is oil free. It's just ground up sesame seeds. And again, give this a good stir through. Okay, and then once that's mixed through, that's ready to go. Next up, I've got some tomato paste, which I'm just going to spread just in little dollops across the top of the batter in the cup. And next up, you can add any toppings that you like. So I'm just adding some chopped tomato, about a tablespoon's worth. And I've got three pimento filled olives. So I've just sliced those up and I'll spread them over as well. And also a large button mushroom that I've just sliced up into pieces. And this is almost done. So now it's time to spread your cheesy mixture over the top. Okay, so this is ready to go in the microwave and mine is 1200 watts so just check on your wattage and you may need to adjust the cooking time a little bit here or there but basically this will take about 60 seconds and if the base hasn't quite cooked through just pop it in for another 10 seconds at a time until it's done to your liking so let's get cooking oh that is looking yummy mm. Okay, so this has been cooking for one minute and it smells amazing. The cheesy topping just, yum, it smells so good. So I'm going to dig into this. So as you can see, there's a nice pizza base that's cooked itself in there and all of your delicious toppings. I'm going to give this a taste test. Mmm. Oh yes. Mmm. -mm. Happy weekend. Mmm. So quick and easy to make. If you're craving vegan pizza, this is so quick and easy. Done in just a couple of minutes. Serve it with a salad and some homemade fries, whatever you like. Wow. Amazing. Give it a go. The recipe for this is on my website at cookingwithplants.com with all the quantities that you need. And if you do make this, post some photos on my Facebook page or on my Instagram at cookingwithplants. I'd love to hear what you think. Mmm, I'm just going to keep eating this. Oh, I wish I could pass some of this through to you. <laughs> Yummy.